walking through the hills. The stream gurgles its way slowly down the hill, making happy sounds. Sonu listens and she looks up at the clear blue sky. Her school looks so small and far away. She knows it will take her more than one hour to reach there, but she does not mind. Sonu loves to walk throughout, through the forest, watching the birds and the beautiful flowers. The pine and the deck are a tree that stand tall and proud all around the park. The hilly pond are like old friends. Sonu calls out her brother Monu and they begin to walk fast, taking and laughing, jumping over to rocks plus wild berries which grow on the scrub near the path. Sonu crosses the stream and jumps on the grassy bank, scaring away a flock of doves. The stream sings louder and louder as it rushes past her. All around butterflies dance and small yellow flowers nod their heads in the breeze. Sonu is nine years old. She lives in a tiny wooden hut on top of the mountain. Every day, she walks down the hill to her school. This is her favorite time of the day because she loves being with the nature in the morning light. Sometimes, when it is raining, she gets late. She can hear the school bell ringing far below, but she can't run since the path is wet and muddy. She loves the tall deodar trees with their dropping green branches. They whisper softly to her when she walks fast. When the wind blows, the pine trees make rustling sounds too. There is one old tree that has a funny crooked branch. Sonu and Monu notice the wild plum tree is ready with ripe red fruits, but maybe they will stop on their way home from school. Monkeys watch them as they walk. Sonu hears them jabbling to each other. Flocks of parakeets screech as they swap downhill. In the summer, there are pretty rodent flowers, and Sonu and Monu pick a few that have fallen on the ground and sip the sweet nectar. Far below them, they can see their school, its late roof gleaming the sun. They start running down hills now. The path is quite smooth. When they get to school, they quickly put their heavy bags in their classroom and join the other children in the playground. Their school has huge fields where children play cricket, basketball, and volleyball. They are lucky since most other schools in the villages of Himachal Pradesh don't have such a big playground. After school is over, Sonu and Monu begin to long walk home. Once more, the monkeys come out to watch them. Sonu touches the bark of the old deodar for good luck. They reach the palm tree. Sonu pulls a branch down and Monu quickly plucks a few. They enjoy eating the sweet and juicy palms. The wind blows through the pine trees, making a whistle sound, and Monu rubs his hand to keep warm. Far above, the children can see their tiny hut sitting snuggly on top of the mountain in the vast blue sky above. There is just one white cloud, and it is sitting right above the roof of their house. Soon they will be home safe and warm. The end.